Hey guys, it's Picker Player, and holy crap, we are playing Firewatch. And what even? This receiver just picked something up. Okay. It's like a signal. It's going beep beep. Ooh. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Hmm, good. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! <laughs> good plan. I'm a good planner. <laughs> I love Delilah. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. Okay, I gotta like, run down here. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Turn the radio off. That's a terrible idea. I think it went too far. Oh, I went the wrong way. Like, how does this thing work? Can someone who does science explain to me how this wave emitter works? Because I don't science. I use the science. Then I became a business major and stopped sciencing, so I don't know exactly what's going on. You all back to where we started, that's good. I'm still going the wrong way. Like, how does this thing work? Do I do I want it to be more beepy or less beepy or? I don't like this. Hmm. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. 
Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And Animal? what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Do I want to go to the tower? I don't, I don't, can I close my eyes? I don't wanna. Nope, eyes shut. talking down at the site. It, it sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Come on. You need to reply to her. I need to reply! D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Okay, Lana. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Talk to me. No. Oh god, this is. Just can't come over to your tower. Tower. We're snuggle. We'll have a nice drink. We'll forget about this. What? Like, why would they even be researching us? Like, that's the thing I don't get. Like, most of it I can understand. Like, if. wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Stick together. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know. Dang. Like... Because I fully believe that, that that man that we saw the first day was... with whatever this... whatever the heck's going on here. He has to... That, that's something that makes sense. So he was there, he knew when, when the girls were missing. <laughs> Like right there, right? Yeah. Neighbor, be quiet, please. Upstairs, neighbors are always so noisy. Like. I also don't like that the smoke is getting so thick, like. 
Like, I realize that they won't always... Did I go too far? I went too far, didn't I? I went way too far. Like, they won't always put out a fire if it's minor. Where am I supposed to be? Ah, oh, I took totally the wrong path. Great. Right. We need to go north and west. It's just great. Have to get to the bottom of this. So, in unrelated news, to brighten the moment a little bit, I got Lunchables today. I'm not five, but I'm going to eat my Lunchables sometime soon, and they're going to be delicious. I'm actually fine I'm having. Turkey and American cheese with some chips ahoy for my dinner. I'm glad I had to go. I started to think my sense of direction is impeccable, and then I proved myself completely wrong. Can okay, I go this way? Nope, I can come back this way. I can't go this way. Going back to my tower because I'm an idiot. Because I don't remember where I go. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Now that I'm. We're just starting over. Where's my tower? Oh, right there, okay. So. I need to go. Straight north. Yep, walking through brush. Okay. It's a lot less scary when there's light. You can, like, see what's happening. The second that it gets even slightly dark, like, even, like, just shadows, that's when it gets freaky. And so I'm not looking forward to be down in that cave. I'm guessing I won't run into anyone while I'm in there, but. I'm not fully ruling out the possibility. He has to be the good ones. I'm gonna figure that out. I think it was the last episode, or was this episode? I don't know, it's blurring together because I'm just, I want to find out what happens. Because on that clipboard, it said that, because it was, it was most obviously it was me and Delilah, and then they were tracking two other males. Hey, you. Actually, make that call, right? No. To, to be on the lookout. Well, uh, it just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course, I didn't. No way. They're just—they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, no. though. Thanks, Henry. You and me, we're fam now. We are going to get through this. Fam slash in a relationship. Am I wearing my ring? I think I took it off. Honestly, that like, like not to sound like a dick. Put it nicely. Like, I would actually prefer Henry to not be like pining after Julia. Like, she's not going to remember him for very long, and it's not fair to him. Well, Delilah, someone locked Shit. me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. Jesus, this is a big cave. I'm gonna die on this jump, aren't I? I'm gonna break something. Oh, no. 
now. All right, I guess we got to figure out some way to get down. Or something. I I don't know. Okay. This is like this is a nightmare for me. Like I'm I wouldn't classify myself as being completely claustrophobic, but if if I feel confined, this is probably just claustrophobic. If I feel confined, I freak out because it just scares me. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, here. Oh, I thought that was a person. I just killed the shit on myself. Oh my god. Uh, I'm getting really, really tense. Now because this is blocked through, logically, I won't see anyone, right? Freezing in here. Hmm. Echo. Logically, do I want? Are we getting somewhere? I'm just like dead set on getting myself out of here. Like I don't care at this point, I just want to get out. I'm just, I'm, this is not where I want to be. Well, I'm alive. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you no. didn't find anything? No. There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an yeah, anchor to there? use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound no, dangerous. No. Oh. Uh, um, <laughs> sir, sir, you didn't, uh, you missed something there. Okay. I gotta get back. Oh, that's not the way I wanna get back. Okay. Where am I right now? I appreciate that I'm like, where am I? But I don't think I actually took the map. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. A bunch of rocks stacked up, he made a wall and a perimeter. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering.
Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily e. Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. I'm getting the postcard. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry that like, I'm being totally quiet here right now, but I'm just... There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. Alright, well... I got that climbing gear, so I should... Should be fine, but I think I, I still have to go back to my turret. Or maybe not. Maybe I just go right back into it. But I'm gonna leave this episode up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, you know how YouTube works, and I will see you guys in the next episode.